Hello everybody and welcome to WTL Wrestling Show then here in the W3L Network. I, of course, am Stevie Wizard. Hopefully you've subscribed to this channel because if not, why not? It's literally one button click and you'll never miss an episode of Wrestling Showdown. And when you consider, I've got some really big news for you coming up later on. You definitely don't want to miss this episode. What's this big news? You'll find it in a bit. But before we get to the big news, we have a match for you. Uh, this contest has a real battle of experience. Uh, two weeks ago we saw the tenacious Johnny Lyons overcome Big Dave Jeremy. This week, Lyons intends to continue his winning ways as he takes on relative rookie Jason Reed. Be in mind that Lyons debuted back in 2006. Reed debuted in the middle of last year, so there's a mass experience difference between the two. But... Reed's got a lot of heart and a lot of determination. Can that overcome the experience edge that Johnny Lyons has? We'll find out the conclusion of this match. So let's not delay any further and get you to ringside to see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, in the corner to my right, hailing from Epsom, England, weighing tonight at 230 pounds. 20 pounds, this is the tenacious Johnny Lyons. And his opponent, in the corner to my left, he hails from River Island, weighing in tonight at 210 pounds. This is Jason. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Ford to see with you on Wrestling Showdown. Some singles competition as tenacious Johnny Lyons in the black and trunks takes on Jason Reed and the blue with red writing on the back. This is a, a real a difference in experience here. Lyons has been around, of course, since 2006. Jason Reed only debuted in the June of last year. This is going to be a massive test for Jason Reed, but so far he's been a pretty good account of himself in the matches he's had. Certainly one of the more uh, accomplished members, you might say, of the recent crop of Action Academy graduates. Lines arguing with the crowd as is want. And it's that psychological tactic he's used to throw his opponents off. But Jason Reed having none of it, just patiently waiting. We've seen Lyons do this before, of course. This, this crowd giving Jason Reed the clap. He's a very popular man. Certainly more popular than Johnny Lyons is. And Reed immediately spins round and takes the rest. But Lyons rolling through. And Reed takes him down though. I'd say that Reed is probably the quicker participant in this match as a speed advantage. Lyons definitely the power and the experience. And Lyons a heck of a wrestler as well. Knows his technical stuff, so he may edge Reed in that, but only due to his vast experience differential. And you see Lyons grabs the ropes, takes what you could call the easy way out. But why expend time and energy reversing a wrist lock when you can just grab the ropes and have the break forced? And he's gone for a wander in the building it seems. And Lyons is very good at this kind of thing, stalling, waiting, making his opponent stand about. It looks like he's not focused on the match, he argues with the crowd, he wanders back and forth across the building. But it's just a way to cut off any momentum his opponent has. It's the way to throw them off their plan. Particularly somebody who's inexperienced may be nervous wrestling a man with the experience of Johnny Lyons. If you're focused so much on wanting to get out there and get torn in about him, him constantly stalling 
is going to really wind you up and uh, well perhaps outside you you might say but Jason Reed's not having any of this whatsoever he's poised he is confident and he is clamping on a side headlock and lines with a handful of that hair but the moment with Jason Reed runs right through Johnny Lyons and Reed changed direction hesitated a little way till Lyons turned and as he was turning hit with the shoulder block cries of chicken ringing out directed at Johnny Lyons and Reed going after him not waiting any longer and just decks him with that forearm I've said many times before every seat in WT is a front row seat and Lyons tasting that chop right across the chest but he's been chopped by Hardcore Holly so he can take a chop and a half Lions countered that charge with the drop toe hold and just kicks Jason Reed right in the face They got throttled on the ropes. It's a five count to break, of course. And Lions put all that weight on the back of Jason Reed. That's a large man for him to be carrying. Plus, you've got the added disadvantage of that middle rope digging right into his armpits, his upper chest, and his neck. And there's a chop of Lion's own it's getting read back from from earlier and the power of Johnny Lyons evident with that one but Jason Reed straight out not waiting around kicks out the body slam and hits the turnbuckles heavily it looks like Lyons is focusing on his back and he's set to continue that she just drops it across the lower spine. Weakening Reed's back will make it very difficult for him to hit his Calvin recliner. Because he's a lot of the legs and lower back for that one. But Jason Reed getting that boot up. And takes down Johnny Lyons. Go straight for a cover, this could end it. We need more than a drop of the middle turnbuckles to put away the tenacious one. But Reed really needs to follow up with the advantage and lines right to the eyes. Obviously using the cheap tactics to gain the advantage here. There's a line bite right between the shoulder blades. It's going to look all the air out your lungs. Reed taking a little longer to kick out this time. Still out before the three, which is the important thing. And their lines. Applies that camel line clutch. Again, working on the lower back, working on the neck. And Jason Reed's got all of Lyons' weight on him. Now, if he wants to stand up, he's got to lift himself and Lyons, which is no easy prospect. And Reed could be done. He's still fighting back to his feet as best he can. Johnny Lyons hangs him in the turnbuckles. And he's trapped in the tree of woe. And he's a sitting target. See, Lyons just pick his shots. 
Just has got that boot right in his throat. Reed is unable to get out. And Reed is trapped in this corner here. Hang on. And he leads up. And a German suplex. Where did that one come from? Must have kissed his god card for good luck. To the German suplex. Johnny Lyons in the middle turnbuckles there. And Lyons. You see the distance he went. Thomas Cairns applying the 10 count. Neither man really moving very much whatsoever. Lyons pulling himself up with the ropes. The crowd getting behind Jason Reed. And Reed exploding across Johnny Lyons. And hits that jumping knee lift. And down he goes with some Booker Slammer. And for the cover. But he doesn't have a lot of coverage over the shoulders. And Lyons able to raise an arm of the canvas. Reed wants to finish him. Can he hit the Calvin recliner? With that bad back of his. And down he goes, courtesy of the tenacious gun. And that's going to end it. But Jason Reed finding it within him to fight back. Johnny Lyons can't believe that. He's hit the tenacious gun in one of his biggest and best moves. And Jason Reed's him getting out of it again. What's Lyons got him set for? All oh, went for the line cutter. And there's the banter boot. Out of nowhere. And that does it. Jason Reed scores the victory. So a big victory for the popular youngster Jason Reed this week here on Wrestling Showdown. Jason Reed scores a big victory there over tenacious Johnny Lyons. Now earlier on I promised you some big news and you can rely on me to deliver. So here it is. As you know, Joe Coffey won this year's Seven at Deadly Sins tournament and as such gets that guaranteed shot at the WCL Heavyweight title held by Joey Legend in the main event of Resolution 10. I can reveal to you now that Resolution 10 will take place on September 30th at the Brunton in Musselburgh. And guess what? Tickets are on sale right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be part of what's going to be our biggest event of the year. In fact, it's the 10th edition of Resolution. This is going to be our biggest event of the past decade. Make sure you get your tickets ASAP. Joey Legend defending the heavy title against Joe Coffey. That is a match that could very easily headline literally any wrestling event anywhere on the planet. You try and find somebody that says otherwise. You can. That is a main event that you do not want to miss and you don't need to. If you act now, head to our website w3lwrestling.com and you can get your Resolution 10 tickets there. And yes, Showdown will work as a coupon code when you're on the website. Make sure you have liked us on Facebook and followed us on Twitter as well. And of course use the hashtag W3LWrestlingShowdown and make sure you're armed with tickets because Resolution 10 is going to take the roof off the Brunton. It's done that in the past couple of years, it will do it again. Coffee vs Legend is more than worth the price of the tickets alone, but it will be filled out with even more great matches which you'll be finding out about in the weeks to come. Now, needless to say, all the WCL talent are beginning to look forward to Resolution 10, and that takes me to the last thing we have for you this week here on Wrestling Showdown. I'm going to leave you now at the end of this week's episode, but before I do, I want to hand over to the notorious nobleman Lucian Maynard Smith. 
He is here with an edition of the House of Smith. And his guest this week is the merchandise, Mike Musso. Yeah, I'm just waiting seven minutes. But how do I make sure 